because we have to have an equal amount of columns in the top query and an equal amount of columns in the bottom query of any set operator query, sometimes it makes it difficult if you have a report with many columns that aren't part of this. But we can use a technique to build the set operator query in a derived table and then join it back and get the answer set we're looking for. Look what we're doing here. We're going to select the employee number. We're going to get the last name and we're going to concatenate that with the first name. So we'll get that full name in there from the employee table. And now we're going to interjoin that and create a derived table. In the derived table, I go, here's my set operator query. I'm going to select the employee number. I'm going to actually do an intersect with that with the manager number and now I'm going to build it in a derived table and I can join it back here where the employee number is equal to empno and now the report is done. Sometimes you're going to want to combine two different tables together and you could do a union or a union all but a union will eliminate the duplicates. Well, if you know there are no duplicates or you want to group by those columns, a union all will be much faster because there is no elimination of duplicates. I want to give you a visual of a union versus a union all, although this report might not make all the sense in the world. So we're going to select the department name, the department number from the department table, union and then union all. I'm going to show it both ways and we're going to do the same thing in the bottom query. Select department name, department number from department table again. And as you can see with the union portion of it you're only going to get back single rows, no duplicates. With the union all, since we did the same query on the same table twice, you'll see that everything is duplicated and that's the difference between a union and a union all. If someone asks me, are there any departments out there with no employees in it? I'd say I can find that for you. I'll use the accept set operator. Here I say select depno from department table. Accept select depno from employee table. And we see that department 500 has no employees in it. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.